guys, welcome back to Wong Chemistry Channel. This video is the part 3 video of your 6.2 equilibrium constant. In this video, we are going to discuss something very simple, only one formula. It's the relationship between your Kp and Kc. If you are having your Kp value, we can change it to Kc and vice versa. And what is the relationship between Kc and Kp? We will focus on this formula, alright? And as always, when you have a formula, it's very important to know how to use the formula and also the unit in the formula, okay? Let's see one by one. This entire formula is actually derived from your ideal gas equation, all right? And since it's derived from your ideal gas equation, therefore your R value and your T value will be based on your ideal gas equation. Therefore, your temperature over here must be in Kelvin because it's from the ideal gas equation where we know that the temperature must be in Kelvin. While the R that we use over here will be 0 0.08206 liter ATM mole per Kelvin. Alright, that is our R value that we will use in this formula. That is the Kp and Kc value that we are looking for or we are having. If you are having the Kp value, then we can find the Kc value or vice versa. Okay, and what would be delta N? So what is actually delta N over here? Delta N over here is the total mole of gas in the product minus the total mole of gas in the reactant. So it's the total gas in the product minus the total gas in the reactant. Bear that in mind, since we are talking about the relationship between Kp and Kc, therefore, we know that your Kp will only take count of gases. So, to calculate the delta N, the delta N that you calculate, that you take count, is only in the gases phase, alright? Let's see the first example. Over here, I have our reactant, as always. That is my product. Both of them are my products, okay? And, first and foremost, check which one is gas. So, this is a gas. We will take it. It's a gas. We will also take it. And over here is a gas, and we will take it. What would be the total mole of gas on the product? The total mole of gas in the product is your 1 plus 3. Alright, your B over here is 1, your Y holding 3. So over here, we have 4 mole of gas. That is how we calculate the total mole in the product. Okay, bear that in mind, we only take count of the gas. Well, in the reactant over here, it's a 2A gas. Therefore, you have 2 mole of your gas in the reactant. Okay. And knowing that your delta N over here is your number of mole of gas total in the product minus the number of mole in gases total in the reactant. Therefore, you have the product total is 4. You have 4 minus 2. Therefore, your delta N over here equals to 2. So, this is how we calculate the Delta N. Make sure in the delta N, we only take count of the gas only. And make sure you know which one is your reactant, which one is your product. Let's try another one. So first and foremost, check the physical phase. That is my gas. That is my aqueous. We are not going to take it. That is my solid. We are not going to take it. That is my gas and we are taking it. Okay. So the total on the product, that is my product side. The total on my product is only 3 mole of gas. Okay, by that in mind, Q is a solid, so we are not taking it. That is my reactant. So in the reactant, I only have 2 mole of gas. Alright, because your P is an aqueous, so we are not taking it. As a result, your delta N over here will be a 3 minus 2. Delta N in this case will be a 1. That is how we find the delta N. Simple. Just be very careful with the physical phase. Bear that in mind, we only take count of the gas. And we are taking the total in the product minus the total in the reactant. Okay? And last but not least, a quick one. You have your solid over here, so we are not taking count. You have your aqueous over here, we are not taking count. Therefore, the total over here will be zero. 2P aqueous, we are not taking count as well. Gas, yes, we are taking count. Therefore, you have... Over here is your 3 mole of your gases in the product. So your delta N over here will be 3 minus 0. Your delta N is equal to 3. Makes sense? Simple. 
Alright, first, let's look at the first example of your KCKP question. The question asking for KP. So KP equals to how much when the question stated KC is given. So we are looking for the KP value where the KC is given 2.45 times 10 to the power of negative 15. The temperature is given at 245 degrees Celsius for the equation below. Knowing that the relationship between the KCKP is your KP equals to KC bracket RT, both of them to the power of delta N. That is the formula that we will use. So the question asking for the KP, we need to find it. The KC is given. So knowing that your R is a constant of 0 0.08206, okay? Your temperature must be in Kelvin. So you plus with 273.15. Give rise to 518.15 Kelvin. That is your temperature. That is your R constant. So next is your delta N. Make sure you have everything before you substitute into the formula. Okay. So in here, delta N is your product. Your product over here is your ammonia gas. Therefore, we have two mole of gas that we will take count of. Well, for the reactant, you have one mole from the nitrogen and three mole from the hydrogen. Both of them are gas. Therefore, over here, we have 4 mole of gas. As a result, your delta N will be 2 minus 4. Delta N is a negative 2. Okay, that is how we calculate the delta N. Make sure you check the physical phase. Next, we are going to substitute in the value. We are looking for the Kp. So the Kc given is 2.45 times 10 to the power of negative 15. And then look at the formula carefully. You have a bracket RT delta N, which means your delta N negative 2 is to the power of R and T, not only T. Therefore, make sure you have the bracket down before you put in the negative 2 delta N. Okay? And your R over here is a constant of 0 0.08206. Temperature has been converted to Kelvin, which is 518.15. That is the Kelvin. So please make sure when you press your calculator, bear that in mind. Your entire R and T is the one that needs to be powered with the negative 2. Make sure you press your calculator correctly, okay? And the answer calculated is 1.3552 times 10 to the power of negative 18. That is the KP value calculated from this question. Easy? Simple. Be careful with the unit and be extremely careful with the delta N and also press your calculator correctly and you're done. Next question. Question asking for Kc. All right. When the Kp given is 6.68 times 10 to the power of 94 at 545 Kelvin. So Kelvin is given at this moment. So as always, write down the question. We are looking for the Kc. The Kp value is given 6.68 times 10 to the power of negative 4. And the temperature is already given in Kelvin. That is pretty quick and easy. And knowing that the only relationship between Kc and Kp is your Kp equals to your Kc bracket RT, the entire thing, delta N. Okay? And temperature is here. Kp is here. So you have the Kp, you have the temperature. Knowing that the R is a constant, therefore your R constant 0 0.08206. Okay? How about your delta N? Your delta N over here will depend on the equation that is given to you. So I have my product over here. And looking at my product, both of them are gases. So I have one mole each. Therefore, on the product, I have two mole of gas. That is how your delta N is obtained. On the reactant, you only have one mole of gas, knowing that this is your reactant. Therefore, you only have one mole of gases. Okay? Therefore, delta N over here is the product minus the reactant, so it's a 2 minus 1. Your delta N is a 1 in this question. Simple, alright? And as always, substitute in the value. Kp is given 6.68 times 10 to the power of negative 4. That is the Kp value given. The Kc value is the one that we are looking for. Make sure you have the bracket because it's your 0 0.08206 everything times with the temperature 454 Kelvin first and then you to the power of 1 because your delta N is 1 over here. So you have your power of 1. 
okay? Press your calculator correctly knowing that we are looking for KC. So this entire thing will be bring over to become dy, all right? And the KC calculated is 1.4936 times 10 to the power of negative 5. That is how we calculated KC in a question like this, okay? Simple, make sure you get all the constant and your delta n correct first, okay? And guys, last but not least, the question started off with the KC. KC is given. Question asking for the KP over here. At the temperature of 358 degrees Celsius. So that is the equation given. As always, I will take out what I need to find and what do I have. KP is the one that I'm looking for. KC is given in the question 7.82 times 10 to the power of 28. The temperature given, 358 degrees Celsius. And changing it to Kelvin is 631.15 Kelvin. That is the temperature of our reaction today. As always, the relationship between KC and KP, there is only one relationship. Your KP equals to your KC bracket RT. Make sure the RT is located in the bracket delta N. Bear that in mind. The person that will take the delta N is your R and T, both of them, okay? Therefore, we already can decide that your R is a constant value of 0 0.8206. Temperature has changed into Kelvin, so we have both of them, but we need to look for delta N. What would be the delta N for this question? Product, I have a guess, but I only have one more, so the delta N will be 1 because it's a guess and there is only one more. And then minus, this is important. Can you see you have a solid? And then you have a gas. Knowing that the solid cannot be taken count, we only take count of the gas. Therefore, over here is also 1. So it will be equals to 1 minus 1, where your delta n today is 0. Okay? Yes, your delta n can be 0. Your delta n can be a positive integer, a negative integer. Depends on the question. All right? And because your delta n is 0 over here, when your delta n is 0, you should automatically know your Kp is actually equals to Kc. Well, because anything to the power of 0 will be equals to 1. Agree? So whatever that you are calculating, no matter what is your temperature value, delta n equals to 0 means that your Kp equals to Kc. So when the question asks you for the Kp in this case, your answer can be as simple as 7.82 times 10 to the power of 28. That will be the Kp value without calculation. Because you know that your delta n right now is 0. Your delta n over here is 0 because your product in gas able to minus out the gas that you have on the reactant in the same mole ratio, 1 to 1. That's why your delta n equals to 0 and your Kp equals to Kc. Simple, as easy as that. But that in mind, this only happened because your delta n equals to zero over here. All right? And that's it about this video. So the entire video is talking about the formula of Kp equals to Kc RT delta n. The entire formula is talking about this formula that we can relate between Kc and Kp. If you have any question, drop it in the comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. TunePocket.com